Are you driving to another country and want to know how to adjust your dip beam alignment to suit driving on the other side of the road? If your car has projector headlights, most projector headlights have a means of adjustment. Stay tuned, let me show you how. Projector headlights are headlights where you can see a lens inside the headlight. The projector itself is like a mini headlight all on its own with its own reflector and the lens is used to focus the beam. If you've got projectors they will definitely provide the low beam or dipped beam and may also have a full beam function. Open your bonnet and access the rear of your headlight units. Remove whatever covers are in place and if you do have xenon bulbs remove the igniter unit. You may have to remove the igniter unit complete with the bulb, depending on which type you've got. Imagine for a moment that the casing of the headlight is transparent and you can see through it just like a window. So if I turn this projector so you can get a better view of it, if we look more closely into the projector, the beam is controlled by a shield in front of the bulb but behind the lens. And that shield has a notch in the centre. Here's a shield that I've removed from another projector and if I orientate it so that the sun shines on the uh, shield, you can see the top edge clearly and the notch in the middle. It's that notch and the slightly lower level of the top edge on that side that throws the beam towards the curb side of the road, thus providing more illumination to the curb than to the centre of the road, thus allowing you to see where you're going without blinding drivers coming the other way. Thus, if you were driving in a country on the opposite side of the road to your home market, your headlights would be throwing the beam upwards towards the centre of the road and dazzling oncoming drivers. Hence the need to adjust the beam for driving on the other side of the road. Indeed, in many countries, particularly in Europe, it's actually a legal requirement. So to adjust the beam, you press this lever down. If I do it again, you can see that by pressing this lever down, this auxiliary shield is moved up into a position such that its top edge now aligns with the top edge of your shield, thus creating a flat beam that has no lift on the curb or centre side. And thus, with your headlights in this condition, you can safely drive to the side of the road without dazzling oncoming drivers. Indeed, in most countries in the world, it is perfectly legal to drive with a flat beam pattern. If you go home and forget to put the lever back up, it won't matter and you shouldn't fail your MOT or inspection depending on what you have in your country. Once you've adjusted your beam, put your headlight back together, return the covers and you're ready to go. If you got value from this video, please give it a thumbs up down by the title. Maybe consider supporting the channel. There's a link in the description and I shall see you on the next video.